what is up youtube soul tribe family collective welcome back to the channel where the goal is to become more balanced within my name is jaman and i am solely known please take only what messages resonate leave the rest behind remember that this is a general reading so not every message may resonate and also remember that these messages are not to tell you how to live your life but only to provide you with any confirmations that you already know or that you just may need to hear at this time I hope that you've been having a great day. I hope you've been feeling loved. I hope you've been feeling blessed. I know that you are loved and blessed. I hope you've been able to get outside today to connect with nature, get some fresh air, connect with the animals, the plants, the insects, all that the universe, Mother Earth has to provide us synchronicities and messages through. Today will be a pick a card reading or pick a pile. It'll be three piles. And then the topic will be mystery messages that spirit wants you to know right now. Just kind of for whatever comes out reading. You also may want to look up any angel numbers, 111, that get mentioned throughout this reading for further confirmations. But with that, we'll get into the pile selections. So pile one will be this itty bitty little tiny piece of moldavite from a bracelet that broke. Pile two will be this blue jay feather. Got some black, white, blue, some gray on there. And then pile three will be this amethyst point. 151 on the clock. With that being said, though, you know, please do like, comment, share, subscribe if the the messages do resonate or you enjoy the vibe. Two oh two on the clock. Other than that, we'll get right into it with pile one. Alrighty. Welcome pile one. We'll be starting off with your Oracle. Let's see what mystery messages come out that spirit wants you to be aware of at this time. Number six, light, sun. Very harmonious energy. Very warm energy. Like unconditional love. You've got card number 18, solidity. Inner core. Ooh. Card number seven, darkness, moon. This right here, this pile. 404 on the clock. You may want to look that up. This pile right here, though, this is my, what feels like my, definitely, like, definitely light workers, but also shadow workers, like people who do intensive shadow work, who integrate a lot of energy who purify and like cleanse a lot of energy within the collective as well. We have the sun and the moon, very balanced energies. Wow, look, even like the solidarity card here, it's got a masculine figure on one side, on this side, and then it's got the feminine face on the other side. 
like this is a very well balanced group of individuals it feels like like people who honor and embrace both a healthy balance of the masculine and feminine that divine masculine divine feminine energy and even on this sun card here there's two individuals sitting here staring at you know this sun this group i feel like you have the ability to see the shadow aspects of others because of how integrated you are within your own light and shadow. Not afraid to embrace both to because you know the shadow isn't isn't necessarily negative. It is something that is also a tool that pr protects us through different situations but it's really like repressed aspects of our own selves that we have kind of shoved down because either we don't like it or 616 on the clock or because we're just completely unaware of it. But with this inner, inner core card, it's like pieces of the puzzle all falling into place, raining into place. Heavy spiritual teams with this pile as well. I'm getting it's like their, their spiritual team, the angels, interdimensional beings, for those of you who work with them, or your starseed families, your ancestors, it's like they are all forming this barrier of protection with their hands, your spiritual team, in which they're like guarding your mind because you are you have like an angelic presence in a sense. There's white doves here, three of them. Messengers, like you have minds that clear away illusions, clouds of confusion within others as well, that help for other pieces of their own puzzles to fall into place. So card number 18 adding up to a nine, like highly enlightened individuals. Number six, like harmonious individuals. Seven, that is the divine, like wisdom. It has to do with intelligence and knowledge and intellect as well. Very high vibrational. Oh yeah, speaking of which, got to move my crystals back in my pocket channel this energy better um no but you are anchors for higher light codes for higher frequencies into this 3d earth realm some of you may definitely work with the higher realms frequently it's like there is a portal i don't know if you can see it i can't really see it on this card but there's like a portal kind of reminds me of the movie um Stargate, like Stargate, Stargate, Atlantis. Some of you might have connections to Atlantis or Lemuria, the ancient worlds, lands that have been forgotten. Some of you may have dreams of them. You have past lives there for some of you. Again, also, very strong intuitions within this pile. Pick up on things hidden in the darkness and bring it to light. Some of you, it's through your own process of shadow work. 
So it's like, again, you can look at people who might not, like you can see the true intentions of people in a broader perspective because whereas some things may be hidden from other people, from their own selves, if they haven't integrated their shadow and like understanding how they might work, that you can look at somebody, like listen to somebody and pick up on maybe underlying intentions or motives, whether it be positive or negative, and to, to know what's for you and what's not for you. Again, your spiritual team keeps you protected by their hands. Like it's like they're uplifting you above all confusion into clarity. So not to be dragged down by the confusion of the world around. Again, for this power I'm getting, it's like you are the light in darkness. Even times when you might feel like you're in darkness yourselves, you are still heavily guided by your own intuitions, by your spiritual team, like that gentle voice which keeps you moving in the direction of your soul and spiritual paths like greatest and highest good, like to progress. Some of you, you are like your minds are portals to higher, to higher knowledge, unlocking within other people. doesn't matter where you go or what you're doing there's always going to be a light on you simply because of who you are as people like this mind here is illuminated yo a lot of enlightenment like unlocked knowledge also unlocking further potential for this pile expressing oneself authentically People who honor their own like expressive nature because they are not afraid of any aspects of themselves because they've met the darkness head on and turned it into the light within, into their own inner power and strength. God, it's like you just rain, rain light wherever you go. It's like this sun card here is pouring light in, a, in the form of a waterfall. Very sturdy foundations as well. It's like this sun is sitting on a rock being held in place firm in the sky where it needs to be. Oh, yeah, something about chicken little. Like, <laughs> like I'm looking now the 1331 on the clock. You may want to look up that number, 1333. Um, but the rock, this cliff holding up the sun here, it's like holding the sun from falling out of the sky. And then right here, it's like pieces of the the head like falling into the sky, or like the sky falling onto them like into place they definitely connect with the stars and like your star seed family but i don't know how to describe it you just have a very innate keen sense of inner wisdom and knowledge that may surprise others and even yourselves at times. But I'm getting that duality, that balance between masculine and feminine energy. Light, darkness, sun, moon, masculine, feminine, yin and yang. Very well, 
well-balanced people, individuals. So wherever you go, the light isn't too far. Like too far behind. It's like for some of you, you enter into people's lives, and like that is unbeknownst to others or even yourself. That's like a, it's like a landmarker kind of. It's like a, a signifier that something is about to shift. Something is about to be unlocked. Something is about to, like, reach a turning point. And I'm seeing these hands in the in this card here around the head. It's like they are turning a gear within people, within yourselves, unlocking a portal to expansion to the subconscious. For some of you, you may you may have like a um a lot of people who either like really love you or some people who might not like you so much because you know you have the ability to trigger people's shadows unintentionally like you just being yourselves authentically it brings to light the inauthenticity in which other people may resonate with you but that they don't express themselves that like make it true that they hide here Covered them, trying to like cover them themselves in your in your presence because you know you just like see through you see through um the surface definitely clairvoyant piles um also clear cognizant like you just have an inner knowing you see beyond the unseen like the veil. You bring light to the darkness. Truth seekers as well. Higher knowledge, higher wisdom. Sagittarius energy, Virgo energy, very grounded energies. Also Libra energy. Like, truth. Like, you get to the truth of things for some of you. Like, you're just always seeking for the truth. So that you can keep growing within yourselves. Hey, yo, I love how these cards came out. The, the masculine, the feminine, the sun, the light. And then we have the inner solidarity, that inner core where everything is inner, nice, tandem, balanced within. Right in the middle of both of these cards. You're an anomaly. <laughs> it's like you are a glitch in the matrix you are the meteor that struck earth and became the moldavite the highest vibrational frequency holding people some of them and that's what you serve as in within your own life but in the lives of people around you Getting Earth Angel vibes, Star Seed vibes. You might feel like you're not from here, like you're just out of place, kind of. I'm looking at the two people sitting here, looking at the sun, this light card, the sun card. It's like kind of like you're you're at home within this world. You are well grounded, but you're always kind of like looking at the stars, at the sun, looking for further meaning. Like that place where you were from before. A place that's hidden within. All right. I'm going to get into the transformation because I feel like I could keep going on about this. So I'm excited to see what uh the rest of the oracle has to say and then the tarot and some more oracle. We're gonna get you a lot of oracle. But anyways. What I've been 
Do this to me. Do you have for them spirit what you would like to bring to surface? <laughs> Card number 11 of the fire element. Rebirth. 2020 on the clock. Now I'm getting you something about 2020 vision. It's like certain things happen in hindsight, but at the same time, your spiritual team will give you a glimpse, like an intuitive knowing about certain things beforehand with just your ability to perceive. Like your third eyes are very strong for a lot of you. Your crown chakras, you're very tapped in but to perceive beyond the surface of things as well. So it's like hindsight is 20, or I don't remember how the saying goes, but that's, it's like you have foresight, increased foresight, simply by being yourself. Alrighty, card number one of the water element, stuck. That's too many. That's too many. Can I get one more, please, Spirit? Alrighty. Purification. Card number two of the fire element. Again. Yeah. I was talking about it with the inner solidarity card, the inner core, kind of like you having the ability to unlock different portals of ascension within other people as well as yourselves with this rebirth card. But um, 2022 20, on the clock, twos could be significant. Card number two, the final one, purification. Um, that's five twos, like that's transformation energy that brings balance though as well to that like yin and yang, that masculine and feminine. But anyways, this rebirth card, like again, when some of you show up in other people's lives, it's like a signifier. It's like, there's your higher self. You go through your own constant transformations and rebirths yourselves. 23 minutes on the dot on the clock, but it's like you awaken different activations and levels within other people as well. Like people who are maybe unaware to certain aspects of themselves that are in the subconscious or the shadows that through reflection of yourselves that you have already brought to light and integrated that awaken something within them. Like, it just goes through an awakening stage. Like, you have the ability to awaken, but also purify, like, stuck, stagnant energies in the collective consciousness around the world as you go through your own shadow work and healing, but also within, like, other people. Again, it's like, I was just saying, a uh, stuck energy. Sometimes when you show up in other people's lives for some of you it is like a checkpoint, like a signifier that something is about to shift. Something is about to awaken like a rebirth is going to occur on some level. Because of how deeply rooted you are within your own awakenings and ascension processes for some of you. It's like, again, you are constantly just by being yourselves and going through your own growth and evolution like people who enter encounter that and interact with you over a given amount of time it's like you have this rake in hand which is holding light in the combs of it in the teeth of the rake but in the background it's like you have i don't know if you can see it very well on this card in the background here, there's a whole field 
with lines of of planted crops. It's like everywhere you go, you are planting seeds of wisdom, which are just waiting to unlock and to grow within other people. Even after you've left their lives, like there's rainbows on this card, like you bring activation energy. High vibrational energies, Moldavite. You have the ability to shift and really shake energies loose within people so that they can rise from any feelings of stagnancy or being stuck in any way so that they can purify and heal themselves as well as what some of you do. Like you are definitely here for a reason to help anchor and to heal Mother Earth. Look at this purification card. Just giving the earth a hug. Healing energy. A lot of green. Also balanced the yin and yang water and fire on this card. And again, this peacock, a symbol of like confidence. What um <laughs> you might have just heard a chicken cock a doodle do downstairs. But um, this peacock, it's got a snake in its mouth, like wisdom, knowledge, a symbol of wisdom and knowledge, and you confidently express yourselves. Again, now what the, the rooster's cock a doodle doing, it's like when you show up in people's lives, you are that rooster, like a, like wake up, the sun's here, like it's time to be awake, like you cause an awakening within some people. <laughs> um but yeah you you shift that stuck energy yeah that's hilarious all right but we're gonna get into the the tarot <laughs> you may want to look up the peacock the spiritual meaning you may want to look up the spiritual meaning of the rooster is just 27, 27 on the clock and the chicken. I just heard, why'd the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? Like that's the same way some of you cross and enter into people's lives is to help them get to the other side of a shift or an awakening. Yeah, y'all just gonna have to to bear with the roosters. They cock a doodle and doing what they meant to do. So <laughs> and though again with that being like this happening right now, because it's never happened in any of my other readings, like there is an awakening that's happening, like a a call. Kind of like an alarm being sounded, even within yourselves. Alrighty, so we got the Five of Wands. Hmm. We got the Eight of Swords. Got the Four of Cups. Got the Page of Swords. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. 29 on the clock. The last card, please. We've got the Knight of Wands.
We're just getting the Five of Wands energy. Like some of you may go through a lot of, or have experienced a lot of conflict and like strife and tension within your own lives, which has been what's something that's been like a um a key point to you being in this energy that you are high vibrational where it's like you have had to alchemize and transmute a lot of different situations battled with the own like feelings of being in prison within one's own thoughts maybe mind like just different limiting thoughts or maybe finding oneself in the four of cups like that stuck energy Getting you know, just always kind of wondering, I'm wondering like about more, like what more is out there, like beyond the, the physical, beyond this world, like that star seed energy, like wanderer energy as well, searching for new knowledge, like for new insight, curious minds, just always trying to learn, like to break out of whatever box anyone might try and put you in. Very innovative people. Very insightful. An abundance of, of mental, like, prosperous ideas, perspectives, wisdom that has been attained, knowledge, You might be very connected to like birds. There's a lot of birds out here. The doves. Got the roosters cock a doodle, doodle doing in the background. Doing what they do. Got the bird on the nine of pentacles here. The birds flying in the page of swords card. And then we've got the peacock. Fearless energy though, again, peacock, that confident energy. Inspirational energy. Energies that excite passion and the spark of life within others, but like anytime one is feeling stuck, like yo, self starting again, reigniting their own inner light. But now I'm getting with the five of wands, the eight of swords and the four of cups. It's like some of you, you, you cause people to fight amongst themselves or like with their own, their own perspectives and thoughts, perceptions of the world or just life around them. Things that aren't really in alignment with their authentic selves that they've just kind of been uh, going with. Things that maybe kept some trapped in a box because you come in with this different way of being this fuller perspective of integration and duality between your own masculine and feminine energies as well and again with the purification card and the stuck card and the transformation it's like you come in with this page of swords energy and yo you offer this new cup of passion this new cup of insight into it like the key to more intuitive messages to tapping into oneself more for some it's like you are a gift from the divine when you enter into other people's lives it's like you are this cup that the divine is giving to people that is going to serve as a catalyst to them reaching a different level within themselves to them unlocking a new like level of abundance within themselves a new level of passion and excitement fearlessness within themselves a sense of adventure I'm even getting like purpose
you know, for some of you may have like people who haven't really integrated as much as some of you with their own shadows and stuff who challenge and like cause adversity against like some of the things that you don't even like I'm not even getting like that you do anything but just like how you are as a person because it's like something that's under not understood to them and it challenges their own beliefs And I'm getting it's like your energy has the power to shake loose any stagnant energies, to shake loose things that are hidden in the subconscious to bring them to light. It's like you come through with this sort of truth, this higher perspective. And you just cut through that these bonded like bands of bondage mentally around other people. Like you give them the uh, kind of like that little whisper of a voice. It's like, yo, know, if you just look at things from this way, if you just leaned up against these swords, you could free yourself. And you would be rising into this new, new level of awakening. And I'm getting it's like you come through with the the page of sword and you cut the the band off from around the eyes that's keeping them in darkness to the hidden aspects of themselves or situations around them and it's like once they have that band off their eyes they're able to see it's like oh, okay i've got all these swords next to me i didn't know about and they can just free themselves the rest of the way And then they have this new excitement, like passion, zest for life, a sense of adventure, wondering like, yo, what more is there? Like, what what is there outside of the box? Just getting you all see things very differently than a lot of people around you. Y'all love you, Pile One. Like this is this is a great start to the reading. And I'm I've really enjoyed picking up this energy for you. Like I get this is people who have like faced the darkest and the toughest of situations that they've been through like head on and then like turn like it's all to help yourselves to continue to progress through your own spiritual progression and evolution but also to help others to face whatever trials and like challenges that they need to overcome that they might just need a little extra strength like that little nudge of of you can do it kind of energy to free themselves from any conflicts any competition like anything that is just a hindrance negative thoughts self-imposed restrictions like disconnection like you come in to bridge that gap for some people to form that connection so that they can further connect with themselves in a more authentic way you give people that sense of fearlessness and being able to live and be more as themselves than what they might have been previously all right gotta get into the ascension now yeah, i'm also getting buddha energy some of you may work with buddha and just the Ascended Masters as well. We're getting Yeshua. Yeshua and Buddha. Alrighty. Do you want 
Let's know with the Ascension Oracle Spirit. New Beginnings, card number 24. Definitely got some new beginnings on the way after going through this rebirth. Another phase of it, but also you, again, you're like a signifier, a landmark, like kind of in people's lives, whereas even if you don't know it or they don't know it, it's like when you show up in people's lives, you come with this portal of light that is going to allow for the, excuse me, confirmation Virgo, allow for the opportunity for people to grow in some new directions and ways in which they were maybe unaware to or unaware of previously. 24, 6. And it's through like unconditional love, the harmony that you bring, the peace, the balance that you bring to the foundations around you and within other people. As you've done so for yourselves, you do for others. Just by being yourselves. Number 15, empowerment. You are so empowered within yourselves that it makes other people want to do the same for themselves. One in five. Like one, confidence, leadership, just individuality, like originality as well. And then five, transformation, excitement, like um, a childlike nature as well, curiosity, and also be um, significant of like a wander, like wandering spirit, like again, we're talking about that kind of as well with like that wanderlust energy or like looking at the stars looking at like what's more to this world like what's beyond this world spontaneity you encourage that fearlessness and sense of adventure and excitement within others some of you may work with the blue avians I have the link to that star seed family Love unconditionally. I feel like I mentioned something about unconditional love. 43, 43 on the clock. But you know, it's just through the unconditional love that you have for yourselves. You know, I feel that you carry for other people that it inspires this, this growth and sense of freedom being unlocked within others where it may have been lacking in certain places before. Heart chakra activation as well. The green hair. It's like you grow love everywhere you go. And it leads to new beginnings for not only yourselves, but for others. Again, you're like a grounder of higher frequencies of divine love and grace to purify the energies of earth. You come to give earth a hug just by being here. Being yourselves. Card number 22. Intentions. 44, 44 on the clock. Card number 22, though, is the Master Builder number. We have card number 11 here as well. Same thing. And 11 and 22. And these cards both line up over each other. That's 33. You have high mastery energy here. Some of you may like definitely work with Ascended Masters very closely. Again, I got the Buddha and the Yeshua energy earlier. But as well as like you and your own essence, like selves, like are tapped into that frequency, that energy. Like you hold the energy of Ascended Master energy yourselves. And may, again, like yo, I'm getting like you act as like a spiritual guide to others. 
just by being yourselves, like not even trying to do anything, but just when you, the way you carry yourselves or you are as people, you just hold that energy where when you show up in someone's life, it's going to cause a transformation. If not immediately, like in the future, if like the seeds get planted, they get planted, they help to unlock something and they shake and purify that stuck energy and turn it into one of abundance. Growth. I'm seeing the nine pinnacles are like different seeds that you planted, which over time as people embrace like that, that passionate energy, that fearlessness to look and view things, look at and view things differently. It like leads to those grapes of abundance. <laughs> no, no, it's like you got the juice. Like there's just the energy out there. new cycle you could definitely be entering into a new cycle yourselves but again you you are you are just like the the portal to a new cycle for other people could be linked to uh Atlantis as well as I'm getting the Dogon tribe About Nagas. Nurture. Now I'm getting that Mary energy. Divine Mother Energy, Mother Earth Energy. She nurtures and provides all. And some of you, you are here to help to revitalize Mother Earth, to raise the frequency in the collective, to help raise the frequency of Mother Earth. And now I'm looking at this card right here. It's like Earth Angels Energy for one, but it's like your wings. Again, you're here to give Mother Earth that hug, but to raise this crown frequency, purified white light energy of the earth to bring a new cycle in this great awakening process. Definitely very healing individuals, people who hold like a sacred space within themselves for others as well. Getting strong Cancerian energy, as well as Virgo energy. As well as Scorpio energy, transformative energy. I think I mentioned Sagittarius earlier with the uh, inner core. Like seeking that higher wisdom, that knowledge. And anyways, I think that's all I'm getting for you. Pile one, Moldavite, you are some amazing people. 4949, I loved reading for you. With that, I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope that you continue to have a great day. Hope that you continue to feel loved and know that you are loved. Hope that you continue to feel blessed and know that you are blessed. 50.05 on the clock, transformations, cycles of infinite possibilities. Right in that, you I hope you continue to connect to Mother Nature, to the animals, the insects, the plants, all the universe has to provide us with symbols and further confirmations with. And with that being said, I love you. I'll send you much love, peace, and balance, and I'll talk to you on the next video. Alrighty. Well, 
go into your let me let me write down your timestamp first real quick. Fifty. Sorry about that. Welcome to your reading pile too. You chose the blue jay feather. That being said, let me get right into your oracle selection here. Fifteen on the clock. I want to look at that number. All righty. What mystery messages do you have for pile number two, please, Spirit? Card number thirty-one. Depth. Lake. Oh, I can see it. Card number eight, ignition fire. Some Scorpio energy here. Yeah. We got the water card with the lake, and then we've got this fire ignition with number eight Scorpio energy. This is this is gonna be an interesting, interesting pile, I feel like. Oh yeah. Card number 30. Bravery, oceans. Okay. So that was card number 31. Heading up to a four. This could also be a cancer. And card number 30. Could also be a Gemini. Scorpio, Cancer, Gemini, Scorpio, heavily. I'm here, the world is your playground. <laughs> the world is your playground. You are the sand turned pearl by the oyster. You hold so much wisdom and knowledge. I'm just getting also a lot of occult energy, a lot of esoteric energy here. People who like to explore the depths of the hidden. You aren't afraid of the darkness. Like if you could, you would, if you could survive the pressure and breathe underwater, you would swim to the bottom of the ocean to see what's down there. You would be the First, people like some people are afraid of the ocean or deep waters of the unseen. It's like you would live there if you could. I'm looking at this depth lake card. This person is underwater here. It's kind of murky, but like the light is shining on this person. This person has a smile on their face. They're like in their element. You want to explore the things that are unseen. You're like, okay, yeah, cool. Like, this is the surface of things. Like, okay, yeah, but what's, what is there underneath? 54, 54 on the clock? I feel like you're the type of people who, um, like, you want to know everything about a person. Like, you want to know all the, everything that makes them them. It's like, okay, yeah, well, what happened to you when you were a kid? Like, what? Like, yo, those kind of questions. I feel like very bold people. Like, the way I'm talking right now, it's kind of, like, very just, like, off the top, very rapid. It's like you have no shortage of, like, things to talk about because you go beyond the surface very easily. And the, like, it might be triggering to some people, honestly. But 
it's like you're looking at the castle, the top of it, and it's like what is hidden or what is illuminated in the light. Like everything that's pretty, like, okay, cool, yeah. But uh, let's talk about what's underneath it. Like, <laughs> you're like, oh, look. There's this path in the mountains right here that's all illuminated by light. Like, let's go down here in this darker path right here and, like, go explore this new trail. Like, I'm getting waymakers. Waymakers. mind I just heard it's like I'm here to shift and shake shit up like like this is a great read card you're like I'm on top of the world I'm on top of the world I don't know who sings that song I'm on here that song I'm like I'm on top of the world hey I'm on top of the world hey song 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 I don't know but A lot of, a lot of innate gifts and abilities as well. Some of you, if you practice a craft of some sort, you are very, you're very skilled at it. I'm also getting master manifestors energy. Like you, like within a lot of you, just hold a lot of knowledge, especially about hidden things. I'm also getting duality, yin and yang energy. As well as the Merkaba. Merkaba. Like a balance between water and fire. The bravery to explore the depths of yourselves. As you transform, you alchemize, you rebirth a lot. Like you are comfortable within the depths of your own subconscious. <laughs> Goes <laughs> go into it, you, you dive right in, you sit there, you get real cozy, and then you alchemize it, you burn it all up, purify it, integrate it, and then you come out dancing on top of your past self, like, <laughs> I'm on top of the world. Which you have a lot of intuitive guidance as well, like, you receive a lot of downloads, messages from the divine, from the spiritual realm. Overcome a lot of challenges and obstacles to be able to be in this feeling of being on top of the world. Climbed through many different mountain paths. Gone through many different low valleys. Gained a lot of perspective on life in general. And throughout the course of it, this is what you're going to do. If you're not already doing so. going to have a very sturdy and strong foundation internally if you don't already have that. To not expect that as you go through these rebirths that you're going to make it. Dancing in the white light, even with your shadows. You know, 
lot of spiritual protection around this pile as well. Like a lot of guidance, watchful eyes. There's a lot of birds on this card. Eyes in the sky, like higher realms for you. I'm getting different realms, honestly. I'm getting higher and lower. Again, some of you, you may work with. You just, you just work with a lot of different things. And I'm not even getting in like a nefarious or like a, a dark way. But like the shadow aspect that is within everybody that may not be as integrated or accepted within some people where they try and push it away. It's like you, you have that working for you in an aspect, in a sense. As above, so below, as within, so without. As the universe, so the soul, like you were just in that perfect middle of being submerged in the depths, but dancing on top of it as well. And like, again, I'm getting the shadow and the light, but even the shadow here has the light shining on it, and it is integrated at peace, and this is you in the middle, alchemized within both of them. You can see we got the the as above, so below right there. Where, yo, this is a source of inner power to that inner flame for you. Now we're going to get into the transformation here. This is like a very aesthetically attractive pile, like conventionally attractive, as well as just like on a soul level, very attractive pile. Like you may be, again, master manifestors, like highly polarized to like people being like, you know, just drawn to you. Some of you may work with that goddess. I'm also getting Oshun. As well as Shango, as well as um, there's an Oba. The rebirth energy card number eleven, like transformative energy, strong Scorpio energy. You may have come from pile number one. The rebirth card did come out there. We have card number seven of the fire element, quickening. And card number ten of the water element, resolution.
You may want to look up the spiritual meaning of the rooster. And for some of you, you're going through a spiritual awakening, a rebirth. You go through a lot of them more rapidly through than some others would. Because you're constantly going through them like these phases of transformation, of death and rebirth, like spiritually. Activating different and deeper aspects of yourselves. Going into those depths. And then rising above them. Dancing on top of the water. Feeling on top of the world. I'm also getting some of you might go through peaks of like highs and lows. Just dancing with life. And so you definitely could be from power one, but like the rooster, cock a doodle doo is when the sun comes up to let you know it's like time to wake up. And again, like the spiritual significance is like there's something that is awakening again right now. Something that's going to bring a resolution as well information that is coming in that is bringing clarity it's going to lead to the next step forward and working with the divine your spiritual team source like the way you work with them it's like every step you make is like leaping over mountains it's, you're standing on the foot of the divine and working with the divine, it's like one small step to cover leaps and bounds more than what you would if you're just walking by yourself. Like working hand in hand with the divine. The divine giving you this light of wisdom, of knowledge, of awakening, of creation to help you through rebirth processes. To find inner resolution within yourselves, inner clarity. To have that sense of home within. Somebody could be moving. Maybe across seas. Maybe just to a different state or country. I'm also getting to the countryside for some. You could live in the countryside. You could live by the, by the ocean. All right, but now we're going to get into the tarot. Some of you, you, you cause awakenings within other people that like are polarized and magnetized towards you because you are meant to provide kind of like that missing piece of a puzzle to give them that next step forward within their own awakening. I'd like to let them know it's time to go with it go through another one, that they're going through another one. I'm kind of getting, it's like your soul is an initiator force for other people to begin another phase of awakening within themselves. It's going to take them to a higher place. More bravery. More excitement within their own lives. Ignition of that fire, that inner fire. 
Alright, what do you want folks to know with the tarot, please? Four of Swords. You got the Sun card. Five of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Definitely be here from pile number one. If not, I might recommend that you watch pile one. It's the Rebirth card. The Knight of Wands did also come out. In pile one as well. Eight of Wands coming out right underneath the quickening card. And one more. And the Ace of Pentacles. So this Four of Swords coming out underneath this Death Flay card, I'm getting that for some right now there might be a need for a rest or you've been in a rest period or the Divine is asking you to rest because it's going to bring more mental clarity as you're going through this rebirth process. It's going to help for things to speed up with this Eight of, eight of Wands here coming out underneath the Quickening card as well. But... This is, like, the more at peace you are within yourselves, like, the more fluid, like, the energy will flow through this process. But, again, you bring the sun to other people's lives, like, just being yourselves, like, the, the passion that you have within yourselves for people who are polarized and, like, magnetized to you. Like, there's just a radiance that you bring like a sense of warmth especially for people who might be like feeling down or like in the cold about something like you bring this rebirth that takes them from being in the cold to reigniting that passion that excitement that fearlessness to brave the transformation of the depths of themselves to dip into that cold water. Some of you might do ice baths or like cold showers. It might be something you want to do to help regulate the system. It's also good for depression. So that could also be good for like, um, like any worries, like any poverty or lack mindsets, depression, insecurities. Like it can help to, um, shift the mindset bring more passion more energy more excitement but um you know it's like some of you have this just this vitality to you as lacking maybe in some other lives around you that you bring and it brings that passion where it like ignites the fire within others within themselves and it causes them to again to like go through a form of awakening themselves as well you know definitely pile one energy here but um the eight of wands 
it um you know ignites something causes something to move rapidly to shift has the capability to leading to new resolutions and like ignites a sense of abundance within Again, some of you are master manifestors. This Ace of Pentacles, you create prosperity very easily for yourselves, maybe for others as well. You know, like your energy, your mindset has the power to take somebody from the Five of Pentacles energy feeling a lack of something, or even yourselves, like just going from the Five of Pentacles to shifting into a state of abundance with this eight of wands energy with you have just a mindset switch but i'm also getting an attitude of gratitude is the key to open the door to more to the spiritual abundance within On a side note, for some of you, you could have a new opportunity that is coming in rapidly. Is it going to change the situation for some of you? This could be like a new career, new financial opportunity, like a new offer from somebody, which is going to bring a resolution to something. Kind of bring more peace, more mental clarity. Getting success on the horizon and be new things to celebrate. So right now with the four swords, like rest easy, knowing that all is well. Just keep taking the correct actions that it, like you're divinely guided to take and allow for yourself to rest when you can and try and have some fun. Like being a, a lighthearted energy, it's gonna help things manifest faster. All right, I'm gonna get into the Ascension. Like to get more downloads and communication from your spiritual team as well. I'm getting your divine child. The sun shines upon you, the universe shines upon you, and you shine in other people's lives. You know, with the sunflowers on this concrete wall here getting people who have grown through all of the challenges and obstacles of life. And the determination to grow is stronger than the, than the obstacle, like nothing can stop it. Nothing stops the sun from shining or from rising. So even during the winter when it's cold, after the rain, when it's been a little cloudy, like eventually the sun shines. And through it all, the sun is still shining behind the clouds, through the cold. Times it might be a little harder to feel that warmth, but it's still there. It's always there. All right. What do you want them to know in regards to this mission? New beginnings. This was the first card that came out in Power One as well. So I'm just gonna say again, you might want to check out Power One if you're not already coming from Power One. Could have another further message for you. New beginnings for some of you. This is going to be a new financial opportunity or a new career beginning. Something that's gonna bring a resolution. For 
for some of you, this could be like getting a, like something finalized in regards to an apartment or a home. New beginnings though. Like you're going to experience many new beginnings, but also like you are like an initiator to new beginnings for other people within their lives. We got card number 12, return to innocence. 1, 21, 21 was just on the clock. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. And then, wow, and then this is card number one, breathe. But card number 12 and then one is one, two, one. So that 121 could be significant. You may want to look up that number as well as um, number 12 and one in general. We got card number 21, nurture. Also came out in pile number one. Card number five, presence. One twenty. 12221 was on the card or on the clock. 12221 and then 12222. You may want to look up any of those numbers. And then card number 33. Rise above. So again, I'm getting like that more divine child energy with the sun card and then the resolution card where I was talking about you walking with the divine, being hand in hand with the divine. And this is also the divine cradling you, nurturing you. I'm getting Mother Gaia energy from this card. Again, I'm getting to rest. Wow, yo, I can't make this shit up. 12, card number, return to innocence, card number 12. Card number one, breathe. And then card number 21, nurture. One, two, one, two, one. We were talking about that significance earlier, so you may want to look up the energy of that cards. And even like, yeah, this, these two cards together, like mirror each other in different aspects. Like there's the child that is being like nurtured in both of these cards. There's the mother figure. And then there's the baby, the baby. Some of you could be welcoming a child sooner. You already just like recently welcomed a child. You were your partner. Something we will rock you is playing on my sister's uh, alarm in the background. And he was just talking about you're going to take on the world someday. Bravery. Like some of you, you have this energy to you. You work hand in hand with the divine. Like the sun card. Again, these cards. 
return to innocence. It's like the divine is nurturing you and is igniting all this passion and transformation within you because you are going to, like, you have a lot to offer to the world. Some of your children will. But I'm getting, like, to always keep that, to be connected to that inner, that inner child, to your own inner child, because you are a child of the divine. And the vine cradles you in a protective light shield. Be present in the moment. Breathe, connect to your own body, your own energy. Know that you can rise above and you will rise above anything in life. As long as you keep working with your spiritual team, with the divine and with yourself, your higher self. You will always rise above any trials and obstacles. I'm getting more purity energy from this card, this white dress. Also mysteriousness, like Scorpio energy, like just mystery. Every time I see this card, I think of Mystique from X-Men. She's blue here and she's got red hair. Being drawn back to that attitude of gratitude though. Heart chakra activations, third eye chakra activations, crown chakra activations. Being who you are fully and authentically. It will always bring more confidence to yourself, but might also inspire the courage and within someone else to do the same. Alrighty, pal, too. Loved reading for you. I love you. With that, I'll leave this reading here for you. Hope it provided you with any messages and confirmations you needed. Hope that you continue to feel loved and know that you are loved. Feel blessed and know that you are blessed. That you continue to get outside nature to get some fresh air. Continue to connect with the plants, the animals, the insects, all the synchronicities that Mother Nature has to provide for us. With that being said, I will talk to y'all in the next video. Peace. Alrighty, welcome to your reading pile number three. You chose the amethyst point. With that being said, we'll get right into it. Get you a shuffle with your oracle card to start off. We're gonna do some, some oracles, some oracles, some tarot, and some more oracles. I'll see what spirit has for you. What mystery messages want to come through for pile number three? One twenty nine, twenty nine. I was just on the clock. Card number four, Completion West. Card number 21, Companionship Animals. Card number two, Adventure South. Alrighty. If 
right off the bat, I'm getting the adventure coming to a completion before a new phase begins. One in which there's been a lot of wholeness. A lot of wisdom attained. A lot of aspects of the mind unlocked as well. Four, you could be a Cancer. 21. Three could be a Gemini, a lot of mind energy. Card number two could be a Taurus. This could be centered around the fourth house, the third house, or the second house. So it could be in regards to like your roots, like home, foundation, Emotions. Okay, maybe mother with um the companionship. I'm getting like Mother Earth. What could be in regards to again like thinking the mind communication? Like different interests. And card number two. Not really getting a whole bunch of Taurus energy, but maybe in regards to like habits or work ethic, getting hard workers. Some of you could be in the entertainment industry. I'm also getting teachers, spiritual teachers, maybe actual teachers. This companionship card being getting like full support of Mother Nature though. Humanitarian energy. Some of you may be into like conservation. Got a lot of spirit guides here that want to have a message for you though. Like characteristics you might be able to incorporate. So you might want to look up the horse, the kangaroo, the parrot, the snake, the chameleon, the fox, the raccoon, the wolf, the rabbit, the frog, butterflies. I'm getting you are fully supported though by by spirit. You may want to look up the meaning of red and white flowers. I'm getting blooming wisdom though. A blooming connection with your spiritual team with nature. Definitely a transformation that is happening. The color yellow could be significant. Strong solar plexus energy. I'm getting you radiate like the sun. Even on this card completion here, like something about your intellect, your mind is very powerful, very strong, getting strong manifesting capabilities as well. Some of you might be well known for your minds, or just for like the information, the intellect, the knowledge that you have to offer. It's like a missing link in different situations. I'm 
again, I'm getting like, you know, receiving the, the messages from, from source through even like the animals, like can give you further pieces of information, of knowledge. Again, with this self adventure card, I'm also getting like it's like a light is being being shined on some of you. Some of you may be into like robotics, and now like I just uh, this channel popped into my mind, so you might want to check him out. He he's very um different in his style of delivery and how he interprets messages, but Robo Monk Art and Tarot. Shout out to you. Enjoy your channel, always. And uh, you have some great messages and the way you offer wisdom. It's kind of like the Eckhart Tolle of Tarot. Like, <laughs> I saw it. I saw it think of it a little bit. But, um, you know, some of you might be into robotics and, like, just tech technology. I'm getting Aquarius energy, like, futuristic thinking as well. And again, with the humanitarian energy, like the animals, the robots, the something about social awareness, like some of you have ideas that can bring awareness to different situations, whether it be like, con like uh, conservation, humanitarianism, like you can shine a light on different things that could use some more like some more attention in the world. I'm just getting magnificent energy, y'all. Like you might have a lot of random animals that are attracted to you. You're just like one with nature. I'm getting heart chakra energy, I'm getting throat chakra energy, root chakra, solar plexus, solar plexus, and sacral chakra, as well as crown chakra. All the chakras really but especially solar plexus solar plexus and heart chakra like that divine love number two twelve could be significant card number twenty one and two two one two Getting a lot of mental balance as well as emotional balance. Some of you could be getting a new animal soon. Also getting fertile energy, the rabbits and the frogs. Someone could be expecting a child. I'm just getting a very warm and inviting presence to your energy, like your aura. You radiate like the sun. Some of you could have come from pile two or pile one. I'm 
like there it, those pouts had the energy of that as well this is like in a different way all right 141 11 was just on the clock 141 14 you may want to look up those numbers we're going to get into your transformation now Live in the southwest. All right, you want them to know for your transformation. Got card number five for rest. That's a lot. But we're going to take it. Card number 10, Wisdom. So you get more, more cards than the other piles. Card number 1, Renovation. And last but not least, card number 7, Resurrection. So with this completion card, I'm getting some of you, you've just completed out of cycle. Could be like moving from your south node into your north node. This could just be connecting more deeply to your own spiritual team. This rest card. Now I feel like some of you are being asked to rest because you're about to begin another cycle, but to allow for your energy to rejuvenate, recuperate as much as possible like within your own daily lives. On this rest card, she's sleeping here. But on in the middle right here, there's some eyes that are wide awake, looking and watching. And looking at that as like your spiritual team. We're watching over you as you rest. Also protecting your dreams for some of you. Card number three, prayer though. Something that you've been praying for is about to come into completion and manifest. And so by you being in a peaceful energy, it's going to allow for it to manifest quicker. Again, someone could be getting married. This could be something that someone was praying for. But this wisdom card, I'm looking at this back to the completion of the West card where it's like this puzzle piece with the mind. Some of you, you've been tapping more into new knowledge, new wisdom, new information, getting truth seekers energy as well. But you hold that flaming sword of truth, cutting through like illusions and bringing light to different situations. Again, some of you, it's like you radiate and you're very like well respected for your mind and you again you have like something to do with like the way you think or the way you see things or the things that you care about like you can bring a light to different things in the world that need more attention it could be like humanitarianism conservation whether it be um Oh, like, yo, just even different technologies, maybe inventions for some. Like a very futuristic thinking mindset. Being able to see things that need more social awareness and bringing 
that light of wisdom to those situations, which causes like renovation and change in how things could be seen by other people or a different change to how things can be done in life. But also like just as you go through this completion, this cycle, ending one adventure before you start this other one, being asked to rest for some of you because you are incorporating and integrating more of that wisdom, that knowledge and information from the past cycles and it is causing internal changes. This renovation card, like a um, burning away maybe as well for some of like old mindsets or uh, beliefs, restrictions that like might not resonate with you anymore. And then this card number seven, resurrection. Well, you're being asked to rest because you're going through a, like a rebirth of energy. Again, I'm getting this is like also new knowledge being res old knowledge, like maybe past life knowledge being resurrected for some of you, which is going to come while you're resting, while you're allowing for your mind to be at peace and at ease. And those puzzle pieces are going to come into place. Maybe you've been praying for wisdom and knowledge or information about different things for some of you, and it's going to come in if it hasn't already. For some, I'm getting this could be like a partner with the companionship card it has animals on there, but like the word companionship and then the prayer card, like this person is wearing a wedding dress. getting to remain grounded and emotionally balanced as much as possible to allow for yourself to rest when you can and to just be in a constant state of like ease as much as possible or even as you're like going through your daily lives you're just doing so with like a state of inner peace inner harmony Some of you I'm getting like your spiritual gifts, you've been going through like a hibernation mode. I'm also coming to a completion of that. Like if you've been like kind of in that period where like everybody goes through every once in a while, but it's like where you feel maybe disconnected from spirit because you are reintegrating and like further tapping into your own self. Like that, that cycle is coming to a, an end and you're about to begin a new adventure. All right, now we're going to get into your, your tarot. I'm getting Aries energy as well. Like pioneers. People who come up with original ideas. As well as Libra energy. Maybe equality, harmony. For the grand whole of the world. In different areas of life. Alrighty, what do you want to elaborate on with the tarot, please? Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Moon card, the 
Four of Pentacles. And Page of Swords. So I'm getting a practical solution to something. An idea. I'm really being drawn to like humanitarian. Like something that's offered to the world. All right, so we have the Queen of Pentacles, something like is a nurturing energy as well. This is like whatever this person invests in, like this is like it blooms, it grows abundance, prosperity, enough to like be able to provide for other people. This is also like where attention goes, energy flows. And so being drawn back to like that humanitarian energy like Aquarius energy some of you like you have ideas things like futuristic ways of thinking in which you can bring social you bring social awareness to like different things even like in just regards to spirituality but I was also getting like you know humanitarian conservation and even like the four of pentacles is like an energy of conserving as well of protecting something. But this Knight of Swords here, like fast thinking intellect, which also has an underlying Aquarius energy to it. This though is like, you know, your, your way of thinking for some of you to bring abundance to the people that you work with, but like, again, awareness to different things that need more light shown on it with like this, the moon card, like things that are maybe hidden that need more awareness. And I'm looking at this three pinnacles here, where it's like talks about collaboration, teamwork, building something, or even learning something like a different way that something can be implemented. And it's like this person right here, sees things from a higher perspective and they're like holding a flashlight on this paper for these people like showing kind of like pointing out like oh yeah we could bring more awareness to this or we could do things this way we could implement something in this way shining a light on things that were maybe unaware of before Page of Swords, the new idea is curiosity. It's like higher learning in a sense, but new ways of communicating ideas. This is like my, my visionary pile. Big thinkers. People are looking at like the whole. Some of you may um you may have a business idea that you could present or that you're going to at some time if you don't already have this business like up and going where like you know it can bring people together but it can bring awareness to different situations which there may be I'm not saying Libra energy but like maybe injustice in a sense but also like just a lack of awareness where there could be more equality 
there could be like more um, of a cooperation to do something together. Where different, different goals can be met by different people accomplishing a greater picture of things though. Where different desires and ambitions can be met in a way that is beneficial for the whole as well as the individual. Something that is practical, that works for everybody. Pisces energy, this could definitely be in regards to like spirituality, maybe limiting beliefs, something that is healing though for the planet or for individuals. And again, that also has to do with like what's hidden, bringing awareness to different things like social awareness. some form of information or wisdom to light that can help piece the, the rest of the puzzle together or to increase what's already there the other pieces that others bring to the table to the Ascension Oracle now. for them spirit for the ascension oracle got hard flower card number nine could be a sagittarius which also has to do with like philosophy wisdom we've got wisdom out here a few times knowledge page of swords like a thirst for knowledge Communicate in different ways also has to do with relations and ethics. But um, we've got card number five, presence. We've got divine plan, card number 17. And we've got card number 35, live the way. Card number 31, stop doing, start being. And then, I think that's it. That's it. Alrighty, heart flower. Some I'm getting with like this is something that can bring more unconditional love to oneself, but people everywhere. 
again, Aquarius or like Aquarius and like Sagittarius energy heavily, like that humanitarian, that search for wisdom, new ways of doing things. Also like that Cancerian energy. So those Pisces. And Aries, like, yo, know, it's, it's just like visionary energies in a different way. And Gemini, new ways of communicating things. This is something, though, that is in alignment with, like, the divine plan. For the more grand whole I'm feeling. And that has to do with and is incorporated within individuals who are just in alignment with the same goals through different through different areas and avenues of getting to the same to the same goal. has to do with a rise in the consciousness around the world, the Great Awakening. Living the way, each person individually. Like card number 31, stop doing and start being. Like start being the change that you want to see. This is something that some of you already do. Some of you, you're being asked to do this. To try and find ways to incorporate more unconditional love for yourselves and for others into your life. More of an attitude of gratitude and presence. It's going to help to increase the consciousness of yourself, those around you, and the planet. Shine a light on a new way of doing things. Bring social awareness to a new way of being. As well as I'm getting some of you like the star seeds, your families are helping you to step into this purpose and path. Star consciousness. Some of you may want to connect more to the stars might give you some new ideas. Allow for your mind to be more open, ease, like state of ease and receptivity to receive new ideas. Again, this planet here, like this globe sitting on this lotus, This is something that could affect the world through a few individuals living the way and being the change and shining a light on a different way of doing things for others. It's like a ripple effect. And those intentions of growth and change radiate out into the world around. And you may want to work with the flower of life if you don't already. You may want to look up the spiritual meaning of the chicken as well as all the other animals that were mentioned. The rooster, or the coyote, and maybe the lobster. But again, Roosters, cock a doodle doing what they do is a, a sign that it's time to wake up. An awakening, like a signif signifier of awakening as well. And 
means the sun is shining. The sun has risen. Maybe it's time to bring light to different, the light of social awareness to different things in life. If you have a platform, maybe use your platform to speak about things that you think are using more social awareness. Might be received way better than you would expect. Through it all, though, be present. Have the attitude of gratitude. Live the way, stop doing, and start being the change you want to see. But with that, I think that is where this reading leaves off for you, Pile 3. I loved reading for you today. It was a pleasure. I hope that you continue to have a great day. I hope that you continue to feel loved. I know that you are loved. I hope you continue to feel blessed. I know that you are blessed. I hope that you continue to connect to Mother Nature, to the animals, the insects, the plants, all the synchronicities and symbols that Mother Earth, that Source has to provide for us just by us being aware. And with that, I send you much love, peace, and balance. Peace. Until next time.